Right, so welcome back to this channel. This is Nigel's pond. Uh, this is my my dad's pond, uh, and I'm going to try and get it sorted out for him. So, as you can see, it's extremely green still, pea soup. And uh, I think what we're going to do is today is I'm going to make up a temporary filter system, uh, some homemade an extra filter system. Um, yeah, because I don't, I don't think this is working. Um, this filter system, I think we've lost control of the algae. It's taken control of the pond. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is, is with making my. I mean, look, you can see there's a fish on the surface here. You know, and, and you can't even see it. It's literally on the surface there. This is how thick the pond is with just pea soup. Yeah, so I'm going to make a temporary, temporary filter. I have seen um, someone online, and they used like a polyester sheet material, um, and they had that inside the pond, wrapped around the pump. So I thought, well, I'm going to incorporate that idea. Uh, I haven't got any um, polyester sheet at the moment, but my quilt is filled with polyester and that polyester sheet lining will do perfect so I've um, I've cut my quilt up I know it sounds a bit stupid but I now have half a quilt uh, but you know I'm willing to sac <laughs> make some sacrifices so that the uh, the fish can thrive and we can make this a better environment for the fish so yeah I've just put that in there and we're just gonna let some water run through it and hopefully filter out that pea soup Right, so we've had it running for uh, a few hours now, um, and I've been having to change this maybe every half hour or so. I mean, it's getting really cogged up, so thick with just sludge. Um, you can see here, I'm just rinsing with pond water, and look, you've got like an inch at the top of clear water, and the rest of that is just thick green, uh, almost a sludge. <laughs> But yeah, so that's, you can see this filter system that I've got running there. It is working. I do have some uh, large media in there uh, as well floating around, which is actually catching all the string algae and all the smaller, was it plankton algae? That's all sort of like being captured by that. I mean, you can see there, like, how well it is doing a great job cleaning and catching it all. But it's not seem not you know it's not enough. I don't really want to be out here every single day, every half hour, having to change everything and keep cleaning it all. And I just want to be able to leave it and you know it be good enough. But the water coming out does seem well. I mean, it's 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 clearer than what's in the pond, that's for sure. But I still think you know it could take a a, a few weeks for this excuse me sorry I mean it could take a few weeks for this to clear up still so I've just got a system going here with a couple of buckets these buckets used to be used for lilies uh, and when we drained the pond um, you know probably about f six weeks ago I think it was now uh, we drained the pond and filled it back up and and, and there was with, at the bottom of the pond with some of the debris there were some dead lilies and so I pulled up well yeah yeah, they were just... Actually, no, I don't think there were lilies in here. I think these were just empty buckets. I'm not sure what they were was in there. But I think they had previously been used for lilies and the lilies had got out from there. And then well, I, I presume the fish just mashed them up and they've just bio, just degraded in the pond. So I've taken some water there that's being filtered, coming through that filter, and I'm going to take a sample of water coming straight out of that pump that pond tech filter system that we have down the end there so we've got two um i just wanted to see to start off with what kind of what the quality was whether it was coming out a lot clearer or whether it was pointless me spending all this time trying to clean it and i think you know instantly right there you can tell the difference whether it's uh, worth doing what i am doing so although i'm putting a lot of time into it um it's pretty much my whole day just doing the pond it does seem to be making a, a, a little bit of an improvement 
So, uh, yeah, we turn that around. Fosters, unless they're going to advertise me and sponsor me. Although there's no point in that because I don't drink Fosters. But I don't drink at all, really. I ain't got time for that. Right, so what we got, we got some of this uh, sludge control. Um, yeah, so my dad got this and some blanket weed. Um, yeah, so this arrived, I think, maybe the week he passed away. Um, because it is only a couple of weeks ago, so it's all fresh and... But, you know, the priority is the fish, and that's what we've got to concentrate on. Um, so, he got this uh, sludge control and blanket weed control. Um, and he got it from Swell UK. So, you know, Swell UK, if you want to sponsor us, give us loads of free stuff to help us sort our pond out, you know. Much obliged and all that. So what I've done is I've um, cut one of these in half and I've put it in the pint glass. Um, it's been, I didn't film because I've been busy doing other things, but it's been in there for about an hour. So, um, yeah, let's go outside and check it out. Okay, so what we have here, the two smaller glasses are sort of like, um, uh, what's the word? I'm not a scientist, I have no idea, but sort of like a baseline um without any of this sludge control in so this that one's uh pre-filter and this one's post filter so we got the two so the ones on the right are pre-filter the ones on the left are post filter and you can see i've put half a sludge tablet into each pint glass so they've got half each uh, these tablets apparently one tablet for a thousand gallon pond so we now have half a tablet for 500 milliliters so i I don't know what that is. What's that? A thousand times, five hundred? I don't know. I, hundred. I, 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 I don't know. I can't do maths like that. Not on top of my head. So, yeah, we've put it in. Um, I've left it to settle, stirred it around a few times. Um, I have been stirring normal pond water as well, but yeah, I've given that a good stir. You can see it's cloudy, uh, and it does. Um, well, you you previously saw it, it had separated, so it's separating. Um, it's kind of like making it all stick together in clumps so I presume that in the pond it'll make it clump together it'll get caught up in the filter help filter it through a bit quicker Right, so this has been left now for a few hours, and yep, the water's cloudy, but all the, uh, I don't know, all that sludge has all sort of like made its way to the bottom there. So it seems to be working quite well. Hmm. Well, I reckon, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to throw this into the pond. Apparently it's fish safe. So, yeah, we're going to, um, I think we'll drain this through. We'll strain that, these, the, this water, and then we'll uh, put it into the pond and uh, see what it does and hope for the best, I guess. Let's uh, inspect this. Look at this. This is um, this is what it's done. That sludge control. It's kind of turned everything into almost like a sandy. It's, it's, it's slimy, but it's also gritty and sandy. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely worked. Oh, John Smiths. Not unless they want to sponsor me. 
see ya. Right, so let's filter this one through and uh, we'll chuck it into the pond. This is a yeah same texture, um, but obviously not as much there because that's the filtered water. Right, and as we're happy with this, uh, I'm pretty confident this is going to help. Whether it's going to fix the problem and um, clear up the pond altogether, but no, I, I, what I really do need to do, um, I really need to get a test kit. Um, I have seen some test kits online. Uh, so I think what about 20 30 quid I might be able to get a test kit so I'm gonna have to order one of them very soon and then we can test what, what's it the ammonia everything else we'll get one of them right well here's what we've been using well I say we've been using we chuck this in um, our pond is like a uh, thousand gallons so this should you know treatment it says one to two weeks it should clear up so we've got it in there and time will tell but at the moment um, we've got some pond water that's been left to settle uh, this one's been here uh, when did I take this I think well it was before we put the sludge in this one so you can see that one's nice and clear well it's clear but a lot of crap at the bottom uh, and this is from the filtered water that I used so this has just been sat there and this here is also through that filtered water, but after the sludge control. So this is uh, the next day after the sludge control. Um, yeah, I presume all the sludge is in, the in, in that filter, I guess. Um, I haven't had to clean the filter out today, that secondary filter that I've made, that temporary one. That's been, you know, I just left it running now. It's not too bad. The pond's still very cloudy. Um, but the water coming out is still good. So wherever we might be able to get away with just a partial drain and refill, um, and then maybe a pond vac to clean up the rest of the bottom, I don't know, but you know, we'll keep you informed uh, with what's going on. Um, but yeah, we've got some more bits on order from Swell UK. I've ordered some UV lights, and I think we've got some, uh, some filters uh, some other bits and pieces so you know it really it really would help me out if you uh, like the video subscribe um, you know and then you can tune in and see the progress and see if the pond does actually turn out that clear and maybe just maybe we might be able to get to uh, see the koi and enjoy them so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all very soon with an update on Nigel's pond God bless you.